<laughs> All right. What do these three people have in common? Uh, Richard Branson, Warren Buffett, Mark Zuckerberg. Billionaires, right? Um, but like them, I have also been asked, what's your secret for success? Now, what the billionaires say, those uh, three billionaires in particular, when they're asked their secret for success, they say passion. They say you should have passion for what you do. You know, you don't want to work on something you don't have passion. Wait for your passion. But here's what you need to think about that. Try to imagine what else they could have said as an answer to that question without sounding like giant douchebags. <laughs> right? They couldn't say, for example, I think I'm smarter than poor people. <laughs> Even if they are, right? You can't say that. Um, they can't say it's because I worked harder than poor people because there's a good chance their gardeners are working pretty hard, right? They can't say they were lucky because then their whole mystique is gone. It's like, well, you know, why should I listen to you? You were just lucky those few times, right? So if it isn't, you know, passion, what is it? I remember uh, when I was uh, working as a commercial lender at a big bank, one of my earliest careers, I had a uh, boss who taught us that if somebody came in and they want a loan to start their business and they had a real passion for it, let's say it's a, somebody who really likes sports, and they wanted to start a sporting good kind of a business, my boss said, do not give that person a loan, all right? <laughs> because they're in it for the wrong reason, all right? They're in it for sort of the fun and the passion. As soon as things get hard, it's not fun anymore. They're going to bail out. We have a long history of these people being bad credit risks. He goes, the one you want is a guy comes in. He says, yeah, here's my spreadsheet. I want to start a, uh, a, let's say, a dry cleaning store. It's a boring little business. I've looked at the location. It's good. I've managed people like this before. I'm putting my own money into it. I know this kind of business. This guy's a grinder. Passion? Probably none. Dry cleaning? You know, who's passionate about dry cleaning? Probably nobody. That guy gets the loan, though, right? Look around even this room, right? Every, every piece of material in the room, you know, the computers, everything, the, the carpet, probably represents somebody who got rich. It was either the person who invented it, it might be the CEO of the company that's running it now, but somebody's getting rich on really boring shit. I mean, <laughs> look at this stuff. You know, somebody made this light, and it's like, hey, this light sells really well. Are you passionate? Well, I'm rich. <laughs> Yeah, that, that feels pretty good. Um, I was talking about this to a friend, and, and he said, you know, I, I hear what you're saying. It, it kind of makes a little bit of sense. But, you know, have you ever watched American Idol? He said, the people who win American Idol, uh, look at the passion that those people have. And that had to make a difference, because they, they're going against long odds and a really competitive type of industry. And, you know, passion had to make a difference. And I said to him, do you watch the entire season? <laughs> because in the first few shows, they show stadiums full of people who are completely passionate. And you know what all of those stadiums full of passionate people have in common? They all failed. <laughs> if, you're, if you're trying to find the correlation, you know what, what's the biggest correlation with success? It might be failure. Right? Or it might be you know, these people who are, who are passionate. Um, so you might ask yourself if passion is limited. And in my case, I can uh, tell you that I once, I once took a, uh, I made a list of all the things I'd failed at, just in the business realm, right? Forget about my, my personal life. That's a whole much bigger <laughs> list. But just in the business realm, the things I, I tried to invest in, businesses I tried to start, I had about 30 failures. These count a couple of corporate careers, few restaurants I've started, uh, things I tried to invent, um, startups I've, I've tried before, and they, they added up. There's about 30 of them. I can tell you that I was passionate at some point with every one of them because they were a good idea, and I thought, oh, this could work. This would really make a difference. This has changed my life. And then when something goes wrong or you look into it and you find out, ah, oh, the numbers don't work, your passion goes away. Dilbert was one of... 30-ish things I've tried. Um, I didn't have especially more passion for it than anything else, but it made me rich. <laughs> and I got to tell you, I'm pretty excited about it now. Okay? Um, so, 
and I'm out of time. Um, I would just recommend that you use energy instead of passion and look for ways to keep your health and your fitness up. Don't be confused by passion. Look for things that are good ideas. Thank you.